All right. So let's take this in the realm of managers, um, whether it's a small team or a big team, whether you run the organization, whether you're just a part of the management structure. Without, you know, we've said so many times on this podcast, especially in the last year, that as a manager, if you're not showing that you care about the whole person, then you're not going to get the best out of that employee. You're not going to get loyalty. You're not going to get engagement or inspiration or creativity or any of the stuff that you would like to have, that you have to care about more than just the output that somebody produces for you. So clearly that's the case. I'm assuming that parenthood, whether it's for women or for men, is kind of no different. So what should managers be thinking about and doing in this context, particularly for dads? Hmm. So the first thing to understand is that all of the workplace options that exist for flexibility and leave should be treated um, in a gender equal way. Um, in fact, after my legal case, the EEOC, the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission, sent out guidance to all businesses saying that um, when it comes to leave after a birth, certainly women get time officially for physical recovery, but that time to care for a child, a caregiving leave has to be clearly distinguished from physical recovery leave, and caregiving leave has to be gender neutral. Um, and managers need to understand that they actually benefit from encouraging men to take that leave. This is a big jump that they don't understand. You know, a lot of managers assume, hey, work is better when I have my employees around. So if they insist on taking the leave available, fine. But, uh, and often they, they even say, no, just don't take it. Um, but the irony is that they actually do better. Uh, businesses do better when they encourage men to take the leave because when you take that leave, you spend uh, your time focused at home doing the caregiving and you come back more refreshed and focused and you are much more likely to stay with the business long term. So this is one company in my book. They have a small business, less than 20 employees, and they decided to give them all a few months uh, for caregiving leave. And um, I asked why. And they said in the long run, it saves them money. In the long run, it prevents them from having to go find new employees. So managers need to have that kind of relationship to the flexibility, to the leave, to make sure that men and women feel comfortable taking it. But the number one thing that I always tell businesses uh, is communication to start communicating, openly communicate about these issues. Don't be afraid. A lot of people are afraid to talk about it and they shouldn't have to be afraid to talk about it. They should be able to have conversations in which they say, Hey, we can't, um, you know, we're not, we're not some giant company that can offer to pay you for months and months while you're off, but what can we do? What can we work out that will be good for you? Can we help you find subsidized childcare? Can we give you a flexible schedule? What would work? And so many people have told me that if their managers would have a conversation like that with them, it would have revolutionized their experience at work. 